Ain't no secret, should do Eddie Kane Jr. Like, share, subscribe. If you subscribe to me, leave a comment down in the video so I can sub back to you. Deuce. Ain't no secret, should do Eddie Kane Jr. Like, share, subscribe. If you subscribe to me, leave a comment down in the post. I'm a sub back to you. Rit, 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 rit. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, my people. Y'all know why we here. So, man, on the eve um, of the Adult Sur Survivors Act expiring, um, another woman has come forward um, accusing Puff Daddy of sexual assault. You know what I'm saying? A woman named Joy Dickerson Neal. Um, she said that she was a college student um, back in 91 at Syracuse University. Um, so she was, she had like, she had like, uh, she was reluctant to go out with Diddy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Rebuffed him. And then reluctantly she went out on a date with this cat. You know what I'm saying? So, um, she's alleging that on this date, she went to go use the restroom. Um, she come back and she, you know what I'm saying? Had something to drink and said that she wasn't able to, to stand or walk. You know what I'm saying? So after that, Diddy and them took her to, they went to a, um, a music studio. She couldn't get out the car. And she alleges that they go to, um, after that, they, after the um, studio, they go to a place where um, allegedly Puff Daddy assaults her. Now, um, a friend of hers, allegedly, Devontae Swing from Jodeci, he tells her that he saw the tape that Diddy likes to record his um, encounters with women. So he said he saw the tape and then Miss Dickerson, she asked him, like, how many people had seen it? He was like, everybody saw it. You know what I'm saying? So um, she's alleging that, you know what I'm saying? She had mental stress. She dropped out of college, never, never um, attaining her degree. Um... And she just said she had mental distress from from that point forward. So, um, but Diddy, he is he, he, through his attorneys. They're alleging that this encounter never took place and that um, it's just a money grab. So, um, and this comes right on the heels of Cassie's filing her lawsuit, and Diddy and his side they settled the next day. So, we're gonna follow this closely. We're gonna see. What happens if Diddy does the same thing, does another 180 and just caves and and um and gives the lady her money? Or what's or if he wants to go forward potentially with the suit? Um me personally, I'm thinking he's gonna just uh, the same thing, pay this money out and and just uh he's trying to hunker down now and just hope that he doesn't get brought up on charges for with Keefe D and Pac. So that's what he's just up to. He about to just pay. If he's smart, he'll just get, he'll just pay it um, because he's not going to be able to win in this case because it's already a precedent. Everyone already knows that this man um, allegedly puts his hands on women. You know what I'm saying? It's been definitely been spoken by numerous people. So uh, his best bet, in my opinion, hey man, just go ahead and pay the bread and, and just, <laughs> you go from there. Cause um, in the first lawsuit he didn't Im admit guilt. He didn't have to admit guilt when um when he paid her. But guess what? Just paying her that fast is an admission of guilt. So you didn't have to admit guilt. It was written all over your face. It was written all over your face, my guy. So um, I think he's gonna just pay that money again. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's just how I see it. If you ain't no renegade. Hit that sub button. If you want to join us on the mission, hit that join button. Welcome to the Renegades. Dude.